What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today I was watching a clip of Liam Harrison just cracking away on the pads, just doing boxing, and I noticed a big error that he is making. Now I'm not gonna be criticizing him, I'm not here to critique and bring him down. He's an amazing fighter, I have nothing, nothing but respect for this guy. This is simply me wanting to share with you that even the best in the world need to stay sharp on their basics. I've been guilty of it before, and I wanna demonstrate the mistake he's making and make sure that you guys aren't making it yourself. So let's Let's dive right into this episode. All right guys, today we're looking at Liam Harrison. I've actually been on the opposite side of an eight man tournament from him. We both did not make it to the finals, so we did not meet up. But I believe it's crazy that we're in the same weight class. We've been around for so long. We're about the exact same age and we've only had one shared opponent throughout the years. I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. And that's Mosab Amrani. Aside from that, I don't think we've ever shared an opponent and we've obviously never fought each other. If we ever get to, that would be amazing. So I am definitely not here to criticize or bash this guy down. He's amazing. Nothing but respect for him. I know if I fight him, he will be a crazy tough opponent. I was just looking at his video clip this morning and going, man, I just love watching him hit pads. And right away, I noticed just, oh, that's a big error, an error that most people make. And it's a spectacular lesson for you guys and for myself that we need to keep drilling the basics all the time. So guys, before we get to the clip, I show you what he's doing wrong. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't, guys, get subscribed. It helps the channel out so much. Now let's pop this clip up very fast of him hitting the pads. He starts cracking away on it and the first thing you will note in the first two jabs is the pads out here and his hands are up he constantly constantly drops this hand down and then goes out down and out and my concern with this is very simple for anybody out there wondering oh why is this so bad number one as you drop your hand to load up your punch you expose your face to a cross number two it slows the punch down now it might not look like it because it's Liam Harrison and he is just so crazy fast but it does slow his punch down and I teach this all the time whenever I teach any program especially when I do my kids programs I teach them let's say I'm just throwing off this hand the fastest route is from here here to here, straight out, straight back. Anything other than that, pulling back, dropping, anything other than that is wasted energy. Wasted motion that you don't need to do. It's a tell sign if I drop my hand that something's coming. And like I said, it exposes the face. Now, when I was preparing to fight Kevin Ross, I had former UFC fighter Shane Campbell in town. He was helping me with my training camp and I was throwing round kicks one day and he's like, dude, every time you throw a round kick, your hands out here instead of flush to your head. You're here instead of pulling tight, you're swinging wide. And I went, holy smokes, after so many years of training, at that point being a five-time world champion, how am I making this tiny little air? Well, not tiny, it's actually spectacular large air. It's a very, very big air, but just something very small in terms of the whole scope of things. And I went, thank you so much, I need to correct that. And I went back to drawing my hand right back to my head is my arm swing. So when we look at Liam, we go, oh, okay, you know what? How's a guy who's this good, who has an amazing fight record, who's one of the best in the world, how is he making an error so simple? Well, sometimes it just happens. You just need somebody to remind you, oh, you're just, you know, you're a little bit lazy on this technique and just sharpen it up and then we can. But this one in particular is something that I see all the time because people don't realize that they're exposing their face and they try to load up on power. You're standing here, instead of going straight out and focusing on your shoulders and your hips to do the work, they go, down and out for more power. This is certainly not uncommon. It's something that almost everybody does at some point in their fight career. And it's just a matter of being really, really diligent with those basics. Remembering constantly that the basics are the most important thing. Everybody wants to move from the jab and the front kick and the basic slips to the spinning techniques and the, the catching and the sweeping. Forgetting that basics win fights. They're always gonna be the things that are the most important. They're the foundation of your skills. And then from there you build out and you increase your skills with the fancier techniques. But always remembering that if your basics get sloppy, everything else gets sloppy with it. Now that won't happen to Liam Harrison. He's too sharp. He makes one little mistake. It's one mistake only. The rest of his technique will not suffer, but we're talking about one of the best in the world in his instance, somebody who is just not like everybody else. He can make one mistake, probably get away with it. Most other people will not. So it's important for you guys to go back, run through your basics all the time. I have a back to basics, beginner and intermediate version out right now. You can check that out, run through quickly, make sure everything is on point and crispy. So guys, that was just my little two cents of watching Liam Harrison 
comparison and going, you know, he's awesome. I love watching his pads, but here's something that I can share with all my subscribers. Make sure that they learn from what I'm noting right now. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, get subscribed. If you enjoyed the video today, give it a like. Train hard, guys, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.